Hello everyone, my name is Roy Kronenfeld and today I will show you how to use XP Realistic Pro. The first thing you would like to do is to go to the plugins menu, fly with Lua macros and then XP Realistic Pro. You will have this little window pops up. This window with a title XP Realistic Pro and it shows you also the version. The first option that it gives you is to start XP Realistic Pro for this specific airplane each time you will load it automatically. And we do want it, right? So you just press on the checkbox. Whenever this checkbox is filled out, it means that it's checked. All right, second option, which is very, very critical, is are you using X camera? If you're using X camera for this specific airplane, you want to turn this on. If you are not, leave this off. This is very important to follow this direction, otherwise you can expect some weird behaviors with the simulator. In my case, I'm using X camera and I suggest you to, so I turn this on. The third option is active profile. As you can see, right now I am on default GA, which stands for general aviation. XP Realistics come with two default profiles, one for general aviation and one for jets. As you can see, I scrolled and changed to default jets. Now, these default profiles are well taught and should be enough for you. However, if you would like to customize them specifically for an airplane, you can do so by pressing on the customize for some airplane. As you can see, I pressed it and I get a lot of options and the active profile right now is the Cessna 172 a one that was just created for this specific airplane. As you can see, the first section called Profile Actions. We have Reset and Delete. Reset will, will, will reset the settings of the profile to the default, and Delete will delete it permanently, which means that you, were not, you will not be able to recover it. The other two sections are the interesting part of this profile. Now, Profile Immersions. What does, what does it mean? Each profile consists of immersions. In this case, in this version, it consists of 22 different immersions, which you can actually scroll through here with your mouse scroller. Each immersion represents a scenario. For example, ground roll slow. We have 22 of them, and this list is growing and will grow through the updates of XP Realistics. Okay. Whenever you choose an immersion and you wish to know what it means, that immersion, you can press on the info button here and you, this little window with short explanation of the immersion that you are selected will show. Okay, now each immersion has few options. The first one is enabled, which you can decide if you want this immersion to be on or off on this profile by pressing and pressing again on this checkbox and it will has we will have a few more options like sound file sound volume shake intensity etc each immersion has its own setting we will take for example the flaps drag let's see the explanation drag caused by friction of air with open flaps whenever the flaps are open air comes into them and creates drag this drag uh, creates a sound and sometimes also shakings. But let's see uh, how we can set it up to, to fit our needs. This option called sound file. I can choose a sound file that will fit my scenario. Okay, so in order to hear the sound, you can actually press on the, so on the name. But get ready, if I press, it's gonna be very high volume, so get ready for that. As you can see, I chose the squeaky rattle tree, and um, and now I want to choose the bass rattle tree. Yeah, this one is a bit more suitable for flaps drag. Um, I'm gonna choose this one. Now I want to set its volume. However, I cannot set set its volume without hearing it, right? So you have two options. The first one is actually to fly and change this, these settings while you are with flaps on and flying fast. But this is not that convenient, isn't it? 
This is the reason I created this section called Immersion Simulation. Using the Immersion Simulation section, you will be able to simulate the immersion without flying. All you need to do is press the Start and Stop button and then input the factors. For example, Flaps Drag has two factors. One is Flaps value and indicated airspeed. Why? Because the more airspeed, the more sound you will get. So right now I am choosing about 50 knots. And um, I'm going to start with flaps up, as you can see here. Using the mouse scroller, I can put and change the value towards full flaps. As you can see, it was a bit high, right? So I'm going to take down the volume to the point that I can actually like it. Yeah, sounds nice. Flaps are down, 50 knots, we get this sound. Now, don't forget, right now you hear it very strongly because this is the only sound that you hear. But once the engines are running, this is uh, not that loud. So what I suggest you to do is to do all these settings while you're with engine on and uh, normal sound. Don't focus only on these sounds, otherwise the settings will not be valid once you start flying. You will figure out that you chose two low volumes and two uh, low shakes. Let's take another example and, and uh, after that we will finish the video. And uh, let's take the stall. Alright, so I get here the stall, it is, it is already on. And I'm using Rattle 2 sound, sound volume 50%, shake intensity 60%, and let's do some in, in, uh, simulation. I have here the stall rate. At this point is no stall. I can actually scroll with the mouse up towards full stall. Let's see what happens. I can actually change the sound volume while it's being simulated. That way I will know what is the best sound. sound volume. I think I would like it like this. I'm not sure if you will be able to see it in the video, but the computer is shaking. I'm shaking it more, so I'm going to shake it less. This is how the airplane will install. Good enough. Next immersion. And that way you will go over the immersion and set it up according to your airplane and um, once you're done you can just close this window. If you don't want this to work next time for you automatically you can just press here and uh, uh, turn it on manually later. But we do want it automatically most of the time so I'm going to leave this one on. And uh, that's it guys. If you have any questions or suggestions please uh, contact me through the extrarealistic.com website. Thank you for watching and thank you for using Extra Realistic Pro. Have a nice flights. Ciao.